Hello, YouTube family. Welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so, so much for joining me here today on my channel where I speak about fashion, style. I do some try-ons like what I'm going to do today. And every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. Today, I am definitely going to be sharing with you some fast fashion, some items that I picked up from Express, H&M, and Fashion Nova. Um, what I noticed as I was trying on many of these items is that quite a number of the pieces are like faux leather or pleather, and I just think that it's so interesting that I shop that way, even though that was not um, my original intention. Uh, this has been like such a long, crazy week. I am actually, for the first time, recording a portion of a video at nighttime um, with my kind of a uh, ring light. And so I'm hoping that this all works out and that I'm able to edit this and get it together for you. If it looks a little bit different, please be patient and bear with me. I was really excited to be able to get this out for you. Uh, sooner than later well for you and for me so um, we are going to go ahead and start with some shoes the first pair of shoes that I want to show you are these beautiful tan kind of croc embossed boot that um, I purchased from Fashion Nova I really like these I like the style of them I like the color of them I must admit, I did think that the heel would be um, slightly shorter than it is because I wanted to make this kind of a, a everyday boot. And I think that with the heel being what it is, I do not necessarily uh, believe that it will pan out that way. But I do like these very much. And um, I am pretty pleased with them. I know that I purchased them on sale. I want to say that they were less well they were definitely less than fifty dollars i want to say less than 40 but i'm going to just definitely stick to um less than 50. so again it's these beautiful boots with this croc embossing and i want to say maybe a, a four inch skinny heel um very nice boot i i like these the next pair of boots that I picked up, I know people tend to have a definitely, definitely have a love-hate relationship with this style boot. This is certainly a Prada dupe. I know that everyone is familiar with the boot that Prada debuted, I don't know, I want to say a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, that featured these um, pouches here on the side. I can also understand why buying a replica of a boot may be very off-putting to many of you who are watching, but when I am um, purchasing trends or when I want to try trends, they're not necessarily something that I want to invest a lot of money into. So me purchasing these boots from Fashion Nova for under $50 allows me to experiment and, and try different styles of things and certainly experience trends without going over a price point or, or reaching a price point that would make me uncomfortable. I like these boots a lot. My husband calls them the, I want to say, Herman Munster boots, if I got that correct. Russell, is that what you said these boots are, Herman Munster? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, these pouches actually do come off, and I will be styling these with and uh, without the pouches, but I think certainly without the pouches, this is a boot that I could have for uh, a number of years to come. Again, I picked these up from Fashion Nova and they were less than $50. The final pair of boots that I picked up, I do not even believe would fit all the way in the frame. These are over the knee, thigh high boots with this beautiful snake skin pattern that is in this brown, beige, caramel, and gray colors. I really love that these are not black and gray, but brown because I certainly wear a lot of browns 
um, in this in this time of year. I usually gravitate more towards browns and grays than 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 blacks and grays. But in any event, I've been looking for a over the knee boot that I really wanted it to be flat. These have the these have like this square heel here, which is also um, one of the reasons that I almost did not purchase it because I typically like for the material or pattern of the, the the main part of the boot to continue all the way through to the heel. I usually do not like a wooden heel or a heel that's a different color, but I went into Forever 21 over the weekend and I saw these and I just said, for the price, I definitely need to um, give them a chance. They're not something that I'm going to have for years and years to come, but similar to what I said about the other boots that I picked up from Fashion Nova, when it's a trend, you kind of want to have fun with it. You don't want to break the bank and you certainly do want to be able to experiment and style them and try them on in different ways. And um, I've already styled them at least one time. You'll have to make sure that you're following me on Instagram to see exactly how I styled up these boots. And I'm actually going to be doing a few more styling videos showing how to wear over the knee or thigh. I want to say these are more so over the knee, but I'll be doing a video featuring uh, different looks that you can style this style of boot with. Again, I picked these up from Forever 21 and I believe that they were $50. Like these very much. I picked them up in true to size. They're very comfortable. And each of the boots I picked up in true to size. So yeah, let's get into it. Now with the clothes. So I went into Express. Express is such a wonderful store. They have very, very nice, wonderful pieces. Um, and what I noticed about Express is that although they start off pretty expensive, more times than not when I go into an Express store, they are having some sort of a sale. I picked these pants up in a size eight. I'm usually somewhere between a six and an eight. And these were, I do not see the price, but I do know that they were 40% off. And I think I purchased them for around $45. They're a sort of a crop style faux leather pant that just has this, this raw edge cut of a hem at the bottom. The material is very soft and I really love this brown color. I'm telling you, brown is gonna be my vibe, my zhuzh, my whole life for <laughs> the next few months. I'm just really loving browns. Um, and you'll see how these fit right now in the cutaway. They are cropped lengths. Very soft and comfortable, high waist. They fit pretty nicely to me, although I had in mind that they would fit more like a culotte. Hmm, I think I like them anyway. What do you think? The next pair of pants that I want to show you are these kind of Bordeaux burgundy pants that I picked up from Fashion Nova a few weeks ago. Fashion Nova is like always having a sale and if you want something trendy and hot that's happening, you don't want to break the bank and invest a lot of money, that's certainly uh, the place to be able to go. I picked these up in a size large. The quality of this faux leather is certainly uh, more plasticky than the ones that come from Express, so the quality is, is definitely not as good, but it, it serves the purpose when you're going for a style, a trend, or you know you just wanna take a picture or something of that nature. I really like the detail of these pants with the, uh, the belt that you can swap out for another belt, and I like the, uh, the stitching that goes down here in um, the front of the leg and I think that these pants fit pretty well. I may have been able to purchase them in a medium but when I'm purchasing um, from stores that are not quite as uh, expensive or from brands that are not as well whatever however it is that you want to say it, I tend to go up a size just to have the assurity that I would have enough room and that they would fit. So again I picked these up from Fashion Nova. They are ankle length, high waist, deep pocket, this 
belted detail that as I said you can swap out for another belt they have the seam going straight down the middle I think it elongates your leg and even slims it out some they have a pretty nice fit um, I like these as well what do you think the next item that I picked up are these sage faux leather leggings that I picked up from H&M. Um, these were $24.99 and I picked these up in a US size 10. These pants, although they feel light, they do feel very, very soft and uh, very comfortable. I think that they are a very decent quality faux leather and for $25, I think um, a very good price. However, when I came home with these pants, I realized that they're very similar into similar to the color of the faux leather pants that I hauled a few weeks ago or a few videos ago um, from Primark. And so, um, although they're a different style, I'll have to decide whether or not I'm going to be keeping them because I think that the color is too close to really justify having uh, both pair. But these are very soft, nice quality. Um, but I would say maybe size up. I don't know because these are a 10 and maybe I would have felt more comfortable with a 12. I, 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 that's just what I do sometimes, I don't know. They definitely fit like a legging, very tight and close to the leg. Uh, they have the seam detail that goes directly down the front of each leg. No, they just feel a bit or look somewhat too tight to me. What are your thoughts? And then we have this top in the sage green color that I selected to pair with these pants. I thought that I would have a really nice monochromatic moment with these two pieces. This was $35. It's the same exact material as the legging style pants, very nice and soft. But I think that this for $35 certainly um, looks more expensive to me with these um, balloon style billowing sleeves, the the stitching here around the arms and around the waist area, uh, the, the button detail here on the sleeves and down the front match exactly to the color of the, um, of the actual, I want, I know, this could be a blouse or this can kind of be worn open as a jacket, as you will see in the cutaway. So I do think that this is a very good buy. And if I didn't mention it already, I picked it up in a size medium, and this uh, appears to be uh, quite true to size and um, a nice style and, and decent quality for the price from H&M. This is the top worn with the pants as a set. I really like this monochromatic look together. And then this is the top worn open, almost like a shacket, jacket, or blazer, which is a, another nice alternative to break up uh, a suited sort of look. So the top can be worn separately or together. We have this faux leather midi length skirt from Express. This skirt, I picked it up in a size 10. It has these nice cargo style big pockets on either side. The material is so soft. I, I, would, I, would, I would venture to say that this may be leather. If I had my glasses near me, I would um, take a look at the tag to actually see what materials this was made out of because this just feels like the real deal. Definitely feels like um, high, quali high quality buttery soft leather. This skirt was originally $88 and I purchased it for 40% off at Express just this past weekend. I really do like this skirt. I like the split detail 
and I believe that something like this can definitely transition from daytime to evening time. So this is a pretty good buy. Um, I really like this. And again, I picked it up in a size 10 from Express. I really like the pocket detail, almost a uh, cargo style. Um, the seams that go throughout that create this detail. I like the fit of this skirt. And although I do not usually gravitate towards the color black, I really like the sleekness of this look. Uh, this skirt is really beautiful. I absolutely love it. Next, I have this faux leather mini skirt that I picked up from H&M in this color that I am definitely loving. I'm loving it always, but it's definitely hot this season in this uh, chocolate brown. This is very soft, decent quality, just like uh, the sage pants and top that I showed you. A uh, very nice skirt. I think that um, when you're in the fall months in particular, when it's not necessarily freezing cold, this is something that you can wear pretty nicely with stockings or with tights, and then you can go ahead and throw on those over the knee boots, which would be styling tip uh, number one for how to style the over the knee boot. And so uh, a mini skirt like this could, could certainly be a, a great wardrobe staple, uh, particularly um, in the fall months. And when it gets colder, you can certainly add like a warmer, thicker tight, you know, do what you need to do to be able to wear it and rock it. Because I'm telling you, faux leather is trending. You gotta, you have to, faux leather and leather are trending. You have to be able to fit it in wherever and however you can. So this I picked up in a size 10 from H&M. It was $20. This skirt is pretty simple, yet cute, uh, decent fit, nice uh, softness, and as I mentioned, it can be styled with quite a few different shoes, tops, or accessories, so this could be a nice wardrobe staple for the season. Next, from Fashion Nova, we have these faux leather off white shorts people may be thinking why are you buying shorts or why are you buying white or off-white and we're going into winter because i don't follow color trends i don't follow color rules this is a faux leather item which is not very different in that sense than having a skirt you can throw on the shorts with some tights you can throw them on with some socks as i have already done like a a knee high sock um, you can wear the over the knee boots with these as well there is just so many things that you can do with this material of a short even though shorts may not necessarily be something that you would consider wearing in the fall and winter it comes down to winterizing it and styling it up I purchased these shorts in a size extra large to ensure that they would be long enough to cover all of the parts that I would need to cover. I feel very comfortable with them. I think that they are a, a, a nice fit and um, the quality is also pretty nice. Um, I believe that, I actually do not remember the price, but I venture to say that they were maybe $20. I'm not 100% sure, but again, they are from Fashion Nova, very nice quality uh, short, and they fit quite nicely. I would say um, if you want a similar fit to what you will see from me, then perhaps you should maybe size up one or two sizes. These faux leather shorts from H&M. Here are the shorts. I think that they fit pretty well. They are not too tight on the legs. I like the cuffed detail at the hem area and the pleating detail here in the front. This belt can also be swapped out for another belt. All in all, I like these shorts. Lastly, surprise, surprise, no faux leather or leather. This is a, a beautiful patterned dress that I picked up from H&M. I've been admiring this pattern since I wanna say early summer, but each time I went into H&M, they had this particular pattern in a shift style dress. They had it in a skirt. I believe they had it in a blouse, 
but for some reasons they never had my sizes or they never had exactly uh, the piece that I wanted and so I never picked it up. So I was pleasantly surprised when I went into an H&M just this past weekend and I saw this pattern on this dress and the dress was on sale and actually I'd never seen this style before. The shift dress that I saw before did not uh, have this bow on the front. And so I went into H&M and I saw this, I believe this is a size large. Yes, it is. It was the only size that they had left and it was on sale for $13 marked down from $25. I think it's a very nice quality dress. Uh, it has an additional lining inside, uh, which is certainly helpful in terms of, I want to say to make it less transparent, but also, um, to warm you up if you're especially wearing it as the, the temperatures drop and you're going into fall. And you know, even though this dress is, is, is sleeveless and you would think this is not necessarily something that someone would buy right now, it's just like as if I had purchased it in the summer and I'd worn it in the summer and if I was going to transition it over to the fall, you do something like um, add a turtleneck underneath or add a blazer and then it's, it's something that um, you can certainly make a part of your wardrobe so why not we have to we have to give these dresses a chance and and wear our dresses for as long as we need to and the best way to do that is just to layer up and have um some fun with it and so you will see how i styled this up in the cutaways let's get so this dress really does nothing for me it is pretty shapeless just kind of hangs um it is slightly too big um so let me go ahead and add a belt so here we are with it belted it cinches in the waist and defines my shape slightly more which i feel is far more flattering i added the turtleneck uh, for some warmth and layering for the fall months and I'm going to go ahead and throw on this sink Accept gold blazer that you would have seen in my Neiman Marcus haul. What do you think of this dress once it's styled up? Please let me know. So my family, those were the faux leather and dress pieces that I picked up from Express, H&M, and Fashion Nova. I hope that you like them. Please let me know which, if any, were your favorites. Let me know what you think about the boots. We can even start a conversation here about fast fashion and trending and dupes, whatever it is that you all want to talk about in the comments. I say if we do it respectfully, then, you know, let's have a dialogue. I'm always super excited for that. And if, in case anyone is interested, I rushed in today from work, so this is actually what I want to work. This is a beautiful blouse that I picked up, I want to say, three years ago from H&M. I think it's a part of maybe not their regular collection, but I remember finding it on sale and thinking, wow, what a pretty dress with this jeweled neck detail up here. It's a very nice quality blouse. These three uh, buttons here, it looks like something kind of kind of, I want to say old school, classy, classic, modern, but I feel like what I really, really love most about it is the fact that it's navy blue. I always like something that's different or a color other than black. And so just to make it a little bit, um, just, just to give it a little bit more of my style, I just added this, this Alexander Wang bracelet that my son purchased for me you know, four or five years ago for Mother's Day. I just thought that it was so pretty to put it right out here and make it almost look like another part of jewelry with the blouse. And isn't this nice? I think he did such a good job on this. Um, really pretty bracelet. It has this, this detail on the back that makes it easy for you to put off and on yourself. Well, I completely digress, but then I think that if anybody has a question or if this is something that anybody likes that I certainly want to be able to share where it came from and kind of my rationale for doing what I do. So this video has definitely taken me longer than any other video that I've done thus far. Um, I certainly enjoyed making it. I'm even happier to be at the end. Now I just have to edit it 
for those of you who do this, you know what I mean. I want to thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and tell a friend. I can imagine that other people may want to watch my videos too. Let me know. Take care. I'll see you next week.